Alright well, guys, how's it going? This is episode 14 of A Life of Crime. Gonna make a lot of money in this one because once you're in the ass, every upgrade is a million plus, yeah. Piracy not really doing it in all honesty. If you make a hundred thousand per job, you're doing pretty well. However, I'm gonna do my damnness to fix that in this episode just by basically using my brain for a change. Now, I've been talking about it the previous couple of episodes, yeah. The economy, how the economy tends to reflect what the ships carry, it does appear to be true, yeah. So, if I'm looking for something like, say, Imperial Slaves, what, where would be the best place to find them? Somewhere that is agricultural, yeah? Maybe with large populations. And you'd also want them to have black markets. If it's an empire space, they'll be selling slaves as well. So let's try something like this Halbangay place. Stocked up in limpets and off I go. I'm also going to be trying to improve my combat. Right, so I'm going to fly around here for a bit. I also considered pledging to Archon Delane. I really should do that anyway, yeah? I mean, is there any reason not to? It might get me some heat off of these guys, but I don't mind that. Right, here's a hauler first of all, though. Let's, let's deal with the easy stuff. <laughs> this is an Archon Delane hauler. There seems to be lots of these guys around. And what's this vulture all about? An Alliance Enforcer. Right, what is going on in here? Almost every ship is part of... the power play? It's a Type 6. It's a Kumo crew transport. What is going on here? Look at all this! They're all power play vessels. Right, well what I'm gonna do is... Pledge my support to Archon Delane. Not gonna do anything else just yet. Right, you can see now that these see enemy. The Alliance guys are enemies. <laughs> this guy's going to be an enemy as well. Right, finally, we find a non-aligned hauler. Perfectly interdicted. Alright, oh, he's carrying some rears. that he's going to get away though. Nice. Right, so he did drop some stuff before he left. Right, done an asp. There's an awful lot of Kumo crew around. Type 9, but it's Kumo crew again. It's unbelievable, this. Yeah, I mean, look at all this. It's like everybody's Kumo crew or somebody else. Yeah, almost everyone. I've never seen this anywhere else before. Right, so an Easling Guardian's after me now. A dangerous Viper. Look at the damage I've taken.
Right, now I'm using my hips a lot better. But there's still room for improvement as you can see, yeah. Let's see if it's carrying anything. Nope. Finish them off. Rather disturbing how much damage my shield's taking. All honesty, although it is just the D5, still a little bit disconcerting. Two, my Galaxy White bounty is down to twenty nine thousand. Let's check out this vulture. Again, switch the four pips into shield when I'm under attack. Under attack. All the pips into weapons again when you're the one firing. Four into engines when trying to look behind them. Yeah, you still take a lot of damage and they've got you in your sight, so... He's going to get his shields up. Maybe. Yeah, he's just going to make it. Maybe not. Yeah, it's pretty tough going, to be honest. Yeah, I'm trying to find pirating targets, however, they all seem to be part of power play here, so I'm going to look for a different system. I'll check out this guy finally. Yeah, it's another Kumo crew. A Kumo crew. I can't say Kumo crew <laughs> properly. <laughs> what about this hauler? It's another one. Yeah. Time to find someplace else. I've got no idea why this is happening here. There's an awful lot of really high population systems around here. Right, I'm gonna head to this place. It's exploited by Archon de Lane and it's an agricultural extraction economy. I 
This is certainly getting a bit more action for sure. Yes, Shield of Justice, I think I can take you. I don't think I'm gaining anything for all this. But I probably should be. Yeah, this is kind of interfering a bit with my piracy. Right, let's take a quick jump into this hub then. Yeah, I'm sort of regretting this power play stuff because I'm being interdicted non-stop now. Kinda getting in the way of my piracy. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the fights, but... This is going to hurt though. Now, those ear grubs were worth 9,000 and the battle weapons were worth 8,000. An agricultural anarchy. <laughs> Surely this is where you're going to find slaves by the barrel load. Still no A4 distributor. I don't know what's going on with all this. Right, at least I can now finally upgrade my drive to a D5, which I'm going to do. I really need to get better sensors as well, yeah? These are very poor. I am expecting to find a lot of slaves around here. Now, judging by the way this scout's flying, it's going to try to interdict me. You can normally tell when they double back like that, yeah? Here it comes. Apparently my number is up. Let's target Lucy's frame shift drive. Well, I would do if she hadn't run away. What are you doing Lucy? No idea what that was all about. Ugh, I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. Exceeded. 
you'll soon find out if you've got nothing, Kendo. And running away just makes me angry. He's got no cargo. Interesting. And the system authority has come in. A random stop and scan. Carrying out scans for illicit cargo. Oh, that's fine, I don't have any. Right, so in an anarchy, system authority randomly scans me. Hmm. Yep, this has been pretty bizarre so far. Right, an asp. He's an expert, so he's not going to be easy. Let's come up right behind him. Timed that one very nicely. Trade data and prototype tech, well I might as well take it. Full weapons. Fire indefinitely with that. Sadly, I killed him too quickly. I would have been more upset had, had he been carrying a bunch of slaves, yeah. <laughs> this is not going great, guys. <laughs> you can probably tell, yeah. This has been one of those. It's getting more and more difficult again because it's getting more and more difficult to make the money required to upgrade the ship. This just always seems to happen no matter what you do in Elite. You finally get to that stage where you can't really progress in anything like the same amount of time. Right, let's check out this nav beacon. Oh, we've got a python. Hmm, a competent python. Well, it's been a while. Now, can I take a competent python? <laughs> of course, there's a type 7 nearby as well. And he's mostly harmless. And he's got no shield. Okay, I'm gonna interdict this guy. I got a 325 credit fine for interdiction in an anarchy system. Ah, right, I guess it's not because I'm nearby a planet, yeah. See, I'm not, I'm now in deep space, but I wasn't quite like interdicted this guy. Let's just see what he's got. Battle weapons, 36 off. I'm gonna take them all. Siphon resource failed. A bit strange.
What's going on? Finally. Programming limited drone. Programming limited drone. Programming limited drone. Hatch breaker limpet engaged. Limpet drone error. Deploy cargo hatch. Limpet drone error. Deploy cargo hatch. Programming limited drone. Okay, We've got a little bit far away there. Right, so here come the feds, but they're too late. I've managed to get away with 33 battle weapons. Unlucky feds. Yeah, 33 battle weapons? That's going to be worth how much? Hmm. 250,000 maybe. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It does say it's independent and anarchy, yet this is a dictatorship. This one's corporate. I'm guessing maybe this one must be anarchy. Hmm, it's independent. Sorry, it's communism. Don't get it really. Got your stuff, that's all I wanted. Courier with no shields. It's a bit like a Type 7 with no cargo space. Let's see if you're even worth wasting a limpet on. Reactive armor, you certainly are.
Pull them away while I collect this cargo. <laughs> Tuffy McTavish. Coming a long way for what's in my hold. How does he know what's in it? That's what I want to know. If I can't scan him in Super Cruise, how can he scan me? I'll just let him interdict me. More weapons. Programming limpet Diamondback Explorer, right, this will be my final piracy target, I believe. It's pretty interesting how this guy didn't attack me, even though he's wanted. I wonder what that's all about. Normally, you know, they say your meat or something. Slaves, nice. Just what I wanted to see. Cargo. Cargo scoop deployed. Programming limpet drone. My final collector is going to pick up a bunch of slaves for me. It <laughs> picked up a limpet for me first of all, so that's good. First time I'm happy to see a limpet being picked up. <laughs> Can you believe it picked up the limpets first of all? That's just crazy. Time to cash in my ill-gotten gains. This is going to be my best piracy hour or two. Maybe spent about an hour, just over an hour to 90 minutes. In the same system, just pirating all the time. And it looks like it's been pretty lucrative. I need to be careful because I am wanted. <sighs> Rather annoyingly, there is no black market here. 
Oh, interesting. Tarak Spice. Widely illegal. Hmm. Right, so I guess we might as well jump next door to Chankin. It's got a black market. Nice little planet there. Right, so into contacts, check out the black market. Three quarters of a million. How much did I make? Nice, puzzle box is worth 21,000. Well, that is good. Right, so there's 85,000. Trinket's not worth much as we know. 14,000 in narcotics. 55,000 for the slaves. HG suits are pretty worthless. Now, another big one coming up. 33 battle weapons. 187,000, not quite as much as I thought I was going to get, but not bad all the same. Six non-lethal weapons are 10,000, and five reactive armor, almost the same. So there you go. Started off with 750,000, so that is 360,000 made from all that. 360,000? I don't know. Again, sadly, the smuggling missions are just so much faster, so much easier. Maybe that's just the way they want it. I don't know. If you're out to make money, piracy. <laughs> I wouldn't still call that the big score, yeah? If you go out there and you get lucky with your platinum and your pay night and stuff like that, then yeah. Or even some rares. You see, you saw there those rares worth 22,000 almost? You do that? Absolutely great. However, those are going to be pretty few and far between. Check out this power contact while I'm here. Right, what's this? Claim salary of a thousand credits. I'm going to have to click on this. Right, so I've claimed a thousand salary. Don't know what that's about. Maybe one of you guys who are playing power play can tell me. But that's going to do it for now. I did talk about making a lot of money this episode. It just didn't materialise. I did, however, also talk about doing some combat, getting better at combat, and I do believe that that did happen. So hopefully... I will see you in the next one.